Hello. I wish to update you on a matter that we have been investigating over recent months and which I flagged with you in July. It's regarding a potential unintentional underpayment of some Nolson employees employed under the Nolson EBA. I need to be clear that this is not related to the current interest-based bargaining process taking place with United Workers Union and the Fair Work Commission regarding the Enterprise Bargaining Agreement, known as the EBA. Through an internal review conducted by our Finance Department, we identified a potential underpayment situation. After seeking external advice, it was confirmed that a misinterpretation has taken place with the application of what is known as the Better Off Overall Test, or the Boot Test. The test requires a comparison between the Nolson EBA and the SHADS Award, which is used as a benchmark for underpinning conditions. The underpayment specifically relates to the period from the 1st of July 2018 to the 11th of October 2020. This impacts some current and former employees employed under the Nelson EBA. Processing of an underpayment for current employees for this financial year will be prioritised by the 25th of October 2020. All current Nelson employees employed under the Nelson EBA will have their pay rates adjusted. We have put in place a process to ensure all those employees affected will have their underpayment completed by the 23rd of December 2020. At Nolson, everyone works hard to provide care and support to our residents. You deserve to be paid what you're entitled to. That is the position we hold. This is a situation that I deeply regret and I apologise to everyone who was impacted. We will also commence to self-report the underpayments to the Fair Work Ombudsman and brief the United Workers' Union. We understand you will have questions about this and I would ask you to email underpaymentquery at nolsongroup.com.au and visit the Nolson intranet for more information and updates. Once again, I apologise for this mistake. It was never intended and we are making it right. Thank you for your understanding and patience and as always, we appreciate your continued focus on support of people who rely on Nolson. Thank you.